Lunamates, UAD friends, what's going on? I talk about the Galaxy Tape Echo all the time on this channel. I love it for guitars, bass, vocals. So I'm sharing some secrets on the Galaxy Tape Echo today. Here are five secrets about the plugin. All right, secret number one, I know that this plugin is a echo plugin or a delay plugin. So you probably wouldn't think to do this, but using the Galaxy Tape Echo as a reverb only. So if you didn't know it had a reverb only mode, uh, it's actually listed right here in your head select. And what you do is you just click reverb only or drag the knob around until you hover on reverb only. And then it kind of bypasses all this. You can just turn your reverb either more or less. Secret number two is more of a functionality secret. Now this VU meter is really confusingly meant to only monitor your input side of the equation. So if you start to see it going in the red and you're turning down this input volume and you're like, why is it not reacting to that? That's why. Another little functionality tidbit is this feedback circuit uh, is before the VU circuit in the real hardware and they modeled that when they were making this plugin. So again, if your input volume is low, but this feedback is high and you got a lot of repeats happening then it's probably gonna start to push uh, this input circuit. So again, just something to note. Secret number three is actually taking advantage of this and that's getting the uh, tape distortion. So again, maybe drive the input volume up, just be sure that you're compensating on the, outs, uh, on the output volume so that you're not blowing up your channel and uh, you're keeping your volume consistent. The distortion on the tape uh, sounds absolutely phenomenal, especially on vocals, kind of separates it from the vocal a bit. So give it a go, try it on your next project while you're getting sounds. Guys, if you want to hear these secrets in action, I've just launched my new Class X line of presets. These presets are based and built off everything in this video and more. Each Classics pack is both UAD2 and UADX compatible. They work in any DAW, whether you're in Pro Tools, Logic, you name it. They're designed for post-production, so you don't have to have UAD console running, and this includes Luna. Now you can find all the presets right from within the Luna preset browser window. I spent a lot of time dialing these in, so they're already gain stage for post-production ABing, so you don't have to. Now I've included some of my favorite presets in these packs. Some of these presets have been used in songs that have been on the radio and even some of the country music networks. Classics is a great way to learn how to get the most from these plugins, and it's also the best way to support the channel so I can keep bringing you guys new content and find new ways to help you guys in your creative endeavors. Guys, your support means the absolute world to me. Click the link in the description below to find out more. I truly hope that you guys enjoy these new presets as much as I do. Secret number four involves the splice and tape loop section. Obviously, new tape is gonna have more fidelity, it's gonna be clearer, and the old tape is gonna have more distortion and weirdness, wow, and flutter. So if you want weirdness, go with the old tape setting. But if you want even more weirdness, and this is the tip, throw your channel into touch mode and as you hit play on your track, start clicking the splice. You can see I've already automated some of it. And you can see it's kind of going hog wild there, but you can just keep adding more points. And then when you play back, now you're gonna get extra weirdness. Just remember to throw your channel back into read mode when you're done. Secret number five, another functionality kind of thing. If you have your feedback like way up, one thing that you can do if you hit play and it's like the trail is just going absolutely nuts, just hit the kill switch, which is the power. Uh, this resets the delay engine and it kills all of the repeats. So you turn it back on, the reverb trail isn't gonna keep going and you can reset that. So, you know, you'd turn it off, turn your feedback down to a more acceptable amount of feedback and then turn it back on. That way, again, if you take it too far, you don't have to wait for the reverb trail to finish before you audition another feedback amount or parameter. Guys, if you enjoy this shorter form content, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of these tips. If you knew about them already, it's the only way I'm gonna know that I'm giving you guys the kind of content that you like. To support the channel further, go to thestevekinney.com. Check out the new Galaxy Tape Echo presets. They're available now. And until the next video, guys, cheers.